Hello viewers. In this lecture, I'm going to explain how we can design a MATLAB code of a numerical scheme that has been proposed in this research paper, whose title is On the Nonlinear Dynamical Systems Within the Generalized Fractional Derivatives with Mittag Leffler Kernel. The paper was published in 2018 in a research journal, Nonlinear Dynamics, by authors Professor Jumitru Baliano, Professor Amin Jajarmi, and Professor Mujtaba Hajipur. In this research paper, the basic purpose of authors was to develop two numerical methods to solve the ordinary differential equations that are defined with the Atangana Paliano Caputo differential operator. In short, I will be calling it ABC fractional differential operator. They have also analyzed the stability and error estimates of the two numerical methods, and then they have carried out some qualitative analysis as well, including some numerical examples. Let me show you. A numerical scheme. So the first numerical scheme proposed by them is known as the fractional Euler method and given by equation number 33 and as well as 34 because there is a term in equation 33 that has been defined by equation 34. So in my previous lecture I had explained how we can design a MATLAB code to simulate a single ordinary differential equation with ABC operator using MATLAB. Now, in this lecture, I will explain how we can design a MATLAB code for the same numerical scheme, this fractional Euler's method, to simulate a given nonlinear system of ordinary differential equations with ABC fractional differential operator. So let's go to MATLAB M file. Starting from line number nine, you can see some initial conditions. So you can see that here I have two dependent variables and these conditions 3.5 and 1.5 are arbitrarily chosen. On line number 11, a couple of input, inputs are given, for example, arbitrarily chosen value of the fractional order alpha, this normalization factor ABC equals 1 in the research paper, the step size H 0 0.01, final mesh point chosen by me as 100, and T is our integration interval. Line number 13 are values of the parameters that are required to be substituted in the dynamical system. Capital N shows the number of iterations and now equation F1, F2 on line number 17 and 18 represent the dynamical system. This is the dynamical system which is also given in this research paper. Let me show you this system of differential equations. So you can see that this system of differential equations is given by equation 65 in the research paper. So let's go to M file again. Now, in order to simulate it, I have used this for loop, which actually represents the numerical method, the fractional Euler's method. In my previous lecture, when we had to simulate just one ordinary differential equation with ABC fractional differential operator, we had used only these couple of lines because we had just one dependent variable. 
Now, in this example, we have two differential equations, so two dependent variables. So that is why I have included these lines as well. So there is no difference between x of n plus 1 and y of n plus 1. But here in x of n plus 1, you have to use here x of 1, the initial value of x. And of course, over here, you will have to use the initial value for y. As well as f1 and again f1 in the first equation of the loop. While f2 at two different places according to the numerical method is being used for the second equation. Now suppose if you have five equations in your dynamical system, then you have to simply keep repeating these lines with right change with writing this thing according to your differential equation and then if you have the third equation f2 and f2 will be replaced by f3 f3 nothing else is going to be changed but keep in mind if you have three dependent variables then you will have to include one more argument within your differential equation so I hope you can easily manage that. After writing the for loop, you can see I have given the command for the figure one, wherein I wanted to see what is the approximate solution x of t with the black color. And then holding the figure window, I have also plotted the approximate y values with some x level, y level, and legend as well. In figure 2, I wanted to see the phase plane. So now, these are the couple of things that I wanted to see as an output of this code. So let's run this M file. And we will have to wait for a couple of seconds to see the required figures. So two different figure windows should appear. Yes, this is figure 2 for the phase plane, y versus x. And in this figure, you can see that the black color, black curve represents x of t, while the red curve represents y of t. And if you go to the command window, you can also come to know that approximate time required by this code is 12 seconds. I would request you to like, share and to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching my lecture.